all of us will die. My name is Fryn Lewis Smith. I'm the specialist chaplain for oncology and palliative care at Leeds Teaching Hospitals. The Dying Matters Week um, is a campaign led by the hospice movement in the UK, which encourages us to all recognise that it's really important to be talking about dying and talking with confidence about dying. All of us will die. Um, all of us will know somebody who goes into the dying phase of life. And whether that's as healthcare professionals, family members, or people living with a life-limiting diagnosis, it's good to be able to speak about death, about dying, and about what we want and hope within that. As a specialist chaplain um, within the palliative care team, I might be asked to go and visit a patient who is thinking about what it means to be dying, who knows that their options for active treatment are becoming more and more limited and that they are approaching the end of their life. They might want to talk about what's mattered to them, what still matters to them as a person, what they value and love, who they value and love. I might be sitting at a bedside hearing the story of how a man met his wife. I might be supporting a couple to get married. I might be listening to somebody who's worrying about physical act of dying. Will it hurt? Will they be awake? Will they feel something they're scared of feeling? They might want religious care. We have chaplains from all sorts of religious and belief traditions in the hospital and non-religious chaplains too. Dying can feel very significant. We all have thoughts about dying and death. We don't always put them out loud. Often we can be quite afraid of what it would mean to start to talk about our own dying, our own death. Perhaps because we're so aware of the loss of what it will mean to leave behind the people that we love and to step outside of the life that we have known in the way that we have lived it. Often we have things we are really hoping will happen. A desire to be pain-free at the end of life. A desire to be awake and making the most of every moment. It might be that it's very important to you that your organs are donated, that people know where you want to be buried or that you want to be cremated or that you've always hoped to be at the top of Machu Picchu and you're hoping someone will take your ashes there for you. I just really encourage people to say out loud what they're scared of, what they're hoping for what would be a good life and a good death and what wouldn't be. People can plan and know with confidence that they're doing the right thing by the people that they love and a staff that we know we're supporting people to have as good a death as they can. One of the big points in the Dying Matters campaign that is, is that it matters as healthcare professionals how we talk about death and dying, that we don't use euphemisms and turns of phrase to avoid saying the word death. So we don't say passed on, we say died. We don't say approaching the last days when we could say think that this person is in the dying phase of life. It helps to be straightforward. If you say to a literal person that somebody has gone, they might wonder, have they wandered off? Have they gone to the toilet? It can introduce such confusion and then pain and shame for us to talk about dying in a way that's euphemistic, it's better to be straightforward. I think we worry that we'll scare somebody if we say the word death, but it's good to hear that word, the enormity of what it means for the life of somebody we love to come to an end. And it's okay to face that because the person you are telling it to is going to live with that reality for a long time. And it's good to begin facing up to what's happened 